I am the kitty and I will eat your soul. And it, now it's your And party. I am the man. <laughs> and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Adventure DX. In the last part, stuff happened. <laughs> I don't know. That's good. <laughs> we fought Eggman and we kicked his ass on the first try somehow. I really hate Egg Viper. It's just... The last part of Egg Viper will always get you with those spinning discs. I actually died. Oh yeah. The, I actually died on the last segment once when he tried to destroy the platforms. It was like, yes, I beat him after I wasted 20 lives. Nope. <laughs> oh jeez. Anyway, now we're starting Tails' story. Probably the last interesting story in the game before we get into things like Amy and oh my god big big cat, <laughs> big, big cat. Oh, oh god my. no I, not I, I, I actually quit just cuz i hate big the cat <laughs> i hated big when i first started playing but after doing some research i found out that the only reason froggy ever lets go is because you're not inputting the right control that is never actually explained anywhere in the game. You have to push right on the analog stick in order to get the catch. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I... I that explains why I spent 30 minutes trying to catch him. I forget... And he never held on. I forget exactly where I read that, but that's what you have to do, and if you do that, he, unless the line breaks, there's really no way that you can miss. Anyway, enough about Big. We'll do Big when we come to him. Uh, Tails. Yeah. He's got an interesting enough story. I guess. And rather annoying theme music, though. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, it would have been good without the vocals. The vocals are just weird. Probably. Usually when you put vocals... I don't know, vocals in video game music is usually good for, like, like opening credits and ending Everything credits, but great. during the game, I don't know. All uh, systems go of course, it could be ahead. worse. It could be Amy. Oh, God. Amy's theme just... Oh, God. Uh -oh. It sounded like <laughs> something off of a 90s Aqua CD. <laughs> Oh, Tails, I think you screwed up. <laughs> you're, you're gonna you're gonna crash. Sorry, buddy. I'll never forget the Japanese sound effects for this cutscene. He's like, going down. <laughs> like, what? Did you just see Hero Brian or something? And did he just like fall straight down? He was like going straight, and then all of a sudden he just drops. Pretty much. I'm impressed with his driving skills, if that's how he manages to crash land. Um... Oh, I was supposed to press start there. Okay. What? The, the cutscene wouldn't finish unless I pressed start. That's a little odd. Oh well. What's it doing now? I think you need to press start to load it, too. <laughs> I'm doing that! It's not doing anything! <laughs> What is wrong with my 360? I think it just crashed. It might have. Okay, so, um... We'll be back in a few minutes, guys. And we are back. Good. Finally. For how long will we be back? I have no idea. <laughs> Make my, it through the loading screen, yes! My 360 is just derping today. Actually, everything is derping today. Mouth! Sonic never should have had a mouth. <laughs> At least in the middle of his face. Yeah, and th that's, again, the only thing that really annoys me about Sonic 06. In the cutscenes, they're in the right place. In game... In game, he's got the mouth right in the... yeah. Yeah. You're lucky I saw you come down. So what went wrong, anyway? It's not like you to crash like I that. fucked up. <laughs> yeah, 
I accidentally put that fake emerald I made into the plane instead. You can always borrow my plane, the tornado. I thought it was gonna work like a real emerald, it did not work. But if I can make this work, it'll run It reminds me, I'm curious to hear more about that rumor of Adventure 2 being ported. Finally. Yeah, I definitely saw that one. I'd really love it if they did. They had better do it in proper widescreen this time, though. Yes. These purple bars are really stupid. Those are annoying. I mean, hell, if emulators can render Super Mario 64 in widescreen, certainly they can render a Dreamcast game that way. Yeah. Okay, and now we start so. flying. Flying around. We... Nonsensical invisible walls for the win. Land on the balcony. Nope, you don't get to. I think I can land on. Hey, look. I can land Dude, on twins. one of them. Huh? Twins. <laughs> Go talk to the twins. Right over there. Hello, ladies. How are you? Fantastic. I'm overusing this joke, but I'm a fox. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> That is a- I'm really just raping the shit out of that joke. <laughs> okay, now it where- It needs to be raped. It's okay. <laughs> See, I can land on this one. Why can't I land on the ones the in the one... back? I wish you could land on the balcony in the pool. You could, like, stare at people as they're swimming. <laughs> creep them out. You can actually drown in that pool for some reason. Nice. Alright, um, if I remember correctly, there's a power up I can get down here. I believe you're right. If the camera would cooperate, there we go. Yeah. No, not doing it right. There we go. Ah! No, right why? <laughs> I actually didn't Great. know about this power up until I read a walkthrough. I just decided, okay, I'm gonna go back and get all the power ups I missed. What, this happened? <laughs> Look, it's your jet anklet. Its jet power makes you fly faster. Somehow. That'll be helpful. Even though you don't see anything different about Tails besides the model change on his shoe. What is happening? Yep. <laughs> there we go. I think you're flying faster. <laughs> I'm flying too fast and it's glitching out the game. Yeah. It's like Super Mario Brothers trying to... It's like the NES trying to render Sonic. <laughs> yeah. Okay, wait, Okay, I can't go back there. Oh, That's the coppers cool. ain't letting you through. <laughs> Even though you can fly right over them. I already told you, officers, I'm not drunk. That's just what my breath smells like. <laughs> oh, you never want to be in that situation. Okay, and... Apparently I'm not supposed to go here. Let's see what Navi has to say. Navi! To the train! She can actually be helpful sometimes. I like relied on her the first time I played this game. The only thing I really don't care for about the DX version is the recolor of the train. Like, why did they... I know they're trying to upgrade the graphics, but did they have to change everything? There were a few different. They changed a lot of stuff, if I remember correctly. They people try to say that this game didn't fix any glitches. You go play Windy Valley on the Dreamcast version and tell me that this isn't fixed. <laughs> like there are some sections on uh, that where you have to you have to hit a speed booster well, well, well. or literally die trying. If you miss the speed booster, you will die. You are dead, yeah. They added people say that automation isn't good. Go play the Dreamcast version of this and then go complain to me about the automation in this. But now it's time to put it to work. Automation. Sometimes Sonic needs automation. Huh? Sometimes Sonic needs automation. <laughs> Just with how fast he is. It's different in the 2D games because you know, it's not like there's much you can go wrong in. But if, you, yeah. if you're in a third dimension and you miss something that re it's required to get you through a loop, you're screwed. You're dead. 
Yeah. Oh, Eggman, haven't you learned by now? Adding peripherals onto the onto your onto your system does not make it any better. The Sega 32X was proof of that. <laughs> oh, I don't know. When he did his uh, crap, the Egg Dragoon in Generations. Touche. That that that, that gave him more health. But was that That's an add-on sure. to his egg car thing? But was it, yeah. was it an add-on to his clown plagiarism copter? <laughs> no. Get a load of this! Oh, Eggman and his great... All of his, like... I don't even know what to call them. Oh, it's even, the word's it's even, not in my head. It's even worse in the 3DS version of Generations. They Sega doesn't even try to make him seem like, okay, maybe he's just saying something all over again. He's purposely trolling you. In the fight against <laughs> Time Eater, he literally, not in so many words as Problem Sonic, but he says, uh, oh, what was it? Um, is something the matter? <laughs> it's like, they're not even trying to disguise the fact that he's trolling you anymore. That is trolling right there. I don't know, the Egg Dragoon fight where he just keeps what? saying, uh, <laughs> what? time for a change of pace. Oh, yeah. I you just stop hit... losing all your rings, by the way. Yeah, what? <laughs> that doesn't happen in the 2D games. <laughs> Normally, you just bounce off of him or go through him. Well, there goes my ring bonus. Yep. Whoops. Hmm, I seem to have stalled. Whatever am I going to do? Gotcha. I was just gonna say that. You stole my line, Eggman. <laughs> Where did the... He doesn't even have to be holding the emerald to be holding not even, the emerald. He's not touching the emerald. That's like some link stuff. Don't even <laughs> touch the item. Just have it float above your hand. <laughs> I almost want the Zelda music to play right now. You got the emerald. <laughs> what I want, what I really want to see is a 3D remake of this on the 3DS. That would be interesting. Like not a port, but an actual remake, like Star Fox. <laughs> yeah, kind of what they did with Star Fox. They did that with uh, Super Mario 64. Yeah, that was pretty fun. I wouldn't mind seeing a Kirby 64 3D either. I have a feeling they'll do that. Yeah. I really do. I don't know. If they did it, how much do you want to bet they're going to add the gimmicky hats into it? I mean, that wouldn't be a problem, but it would be weird with the Kirby 64 formula. Yeah. I mean, what the hell kind of a hat would Refrigerator Kirby wear? I don't- I have no idea. Strap a refrigerator door onto his head? <laughs> Can't even think of anything. Okay, viewers, you are going to draw that and send it to me. <laughs> Just draw Kirby with a refrigerator door strapped to his head. Oh man, I definitely want to see those. <laughs> The Ninja Kirby would be good, because, yes. you know, they'd still, they just reused the, uh, the power from Superstar, I think. Probably. Something else I didn't realize about this game until recently, apparently this mountain face and everything behind it is Angel Island, and what we're on right now is just the mainland. Really? It's really not apparent until you actually take a good look at the textures around the two things. So if you're ever huh, wondering where cool. Angel Island crashed and how the hell you're getting to it from Mystic Ruins, that's how. Not right there. Speaking of Angel Island, I think I have to go in here. Okay, no. That should be the way to get to 
I think I'm going to Windy Valley, because that's Tails' first stage. Yeah. But, I... Uh, there it is. The Windstone. I need to see something. Oh, there was a glitch in the Mystic Ruins area that I did in the, la in the second last part. I wanted to see if I could do it here. Oh, well. I'm wasting time. <laughs> Basically, if you stand on the edge of a staircase at just the right angle, you'll slide right up. Huh. I did that in the mist in the uh, Lost World part. Hooray! Now we're actually made it to the first stage. Nineteen minutes into the part, and we're just now getting into the first stage. At least the Xbox didn't break down and die. Yet. Wow, Navi just killed my momentum. Yeah. That sucks. Here's your pro tip, avoid Navi. See you later, Tails! What, 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 what? Oh man, you clipped through the rail. Nice. And now I'm back here. And now you went the wrong direction, apparently, through the rail, but... It did save your life. I think I can still catch up. See, it's these things right here, I think one of these areas up ahead, when you're playing as Sonic, specifically. If you oh, miss right those speed, bo speed boosters, you're dead. I think it's this one right after this. Yeah, you can miss that speed booster, and if you do, you will not make it through the loop. You just die. Pretty much. Well, no, you won't die, but... You won't complete the loop, and while the, there is a small amount of automation there, but it's only enough to actually kill you from going through it. Okay. The Dreamcast, the Dreamcast version was weird. Not quite as bad as that loop in Emerald Coast, though. If you miss going <laughs> through that and you hit the automation, it'll throw you off into the sky. Everyone loves that hoop, though. Yeah. Oh no! 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 Yeah! Watch someone Win. come right up behind me. Yeah. So oh, there he is. <laughs> I've never actually had him get that close before. That wasn't too bad. What did he just? What did he do there? He jumped. Why? I don't know. That, that, was, that weird. was weird. Why would Sonic jump? I don't For know. No reason. Sonic doesn't need to jump. He's a blue hedgehog. He, run, he can run so fast he'll get there without jumping. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that joke. If he spin dashes off of a slight incline, it has the same effect as jumping. It's gonna have a higher jump than Mario ever could have. Anyway, 22 minutes. Um, I guess we should wrap it up. So, guys, I guess we'll see you in the next part. See you then.